Hey guys, Nage here, and today I'll be showing you the first of three tutorials on how to make an FPS animation like this. The first tutorial will be importing your view model, then animating it and troubleshooting if you have problems with it. The second tutorial is going to be about interpolation, which is essential if you want to make your animation go from a concept to a final animation, so making it smooth and all. The final tutorial is going to be on importing it back to Roblox if you want, adding effects for Blender render, and tips. So, before I get into the tutorial, I want to say real quick, you want to install uh, the plugin Blender Animations, which is going to be the first link in the description. And also, you want to go to the second link in the description and find the dev forum link. Uh, and go on that dev forum link and find the find the download for find the download for use this blender add-on save as something.py once you save the script and it must be a .py script uh, a .py uh, file so you just save it as blah 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 .py uh, at the end or else it won't work and yeah that is all the setup for this video if you're wondering what the python file did it was a blender plugin uh, I'll show it later when you're going to need to install it, but for now you don't really need to install it. So, you want to go to your toolbox and you want to go to your models. Now, here on models, you're going to search up a view model. Now, this is the first part of this thing. So, you can choose any view model because usually most view models are going to all work the same, except for ones like this. Uh, ones that are already in position are going to be much more annoying to import back into Roblox, so I wouldn't recommend them. I would recommend the ones that are kind of T-posing. Well, not T-posing, but you get the idea. So, um, I just want to put it in here and set it to 0, 3, 0, right? This is essential, because if you want to have your blender camera perfectly centered on... On this you're gonna want to put it as zero three zero now we have our view model but now we want our weapon so for your weapon you can search up uh, you can just search up something like um, gun pack or something like that and you'll probably find a bunch of gun packs like for example this one looks pretty good so I'm gonna There you go, I've imported it, so obviously these packs may vary from quality, but you can see this one's a pretty good pack. Uh, so I want to, for example, I want to animate uh, I want to animate Uh, an MP7, right? So you just want to select it, or you can copy it. Uh, this is what I do usually. I copy it, delete all of them, and then paste it, and then there you go. You have your gun. Uh, now you want to set up the gun, align it to the hand. Uh, this is all dependent on what, if your character is left or right-handed. Uh, I'm going to make mine right-handed because I'm right-handed and I guess I feel more comfortable animating a right-handed character so just wanna kind of align the trigger up to his hand like this this is a good position okay so once you've done this the next step is quite simple you want to kind of rig this so that the parts that you actually want rigged are going to be rigged. So, for example, this is the mag. So we'll name this something like mag, and the rest that we don't want to rig, we we'll, we can just name them random things. But you will need one that's named something like grip or handle or whatever. So I'll name this one grip. You can name it handle whatever because this is going to be your main part of the gun. So you want to go to plugins and install uh, and install edit rig. So if you have edit rig, you can use this, uh, and you want to click on it. 
once you clicked on it, uh, it's gonna come up with this. Uh, you must select the gun, by the way. And you s can go here, so you wanna put the grip with the mag, so you hold control, click mag, and then press create joint. This is now going to create a joint between the grip and the mag, which means that uh, you can actually move the mag whenever you want. Pretty neat, pretty neat. And then the rest of the parts, which you don't want to animate, you can just pre you can just select them and make welds, which that welded them. So now this means that if I were to uh, import it into Blender right now, which you shouldn't do yet, uh, it's going to basically do. Um, it's going to basically move the gun if I move the grip, which is good. That's what we want. And if I move the mag, it's going to move the mag, but it's not going to move the grip or the entire gun, which is exactly perfect. Now, you want to select your right arm, which is the one I have selected. Uh, actually, no, you want to select your view model. Go to edit rig. And then from here, select the right arm. And then hold control, hit grip and press create joint. Now this is exactly what we need because you can see that uh, we have our camera bone here and we have this and the gun is all linked up and now that everything is perfectly done you are prepared to import it into Blender. Now the next step is to go here on Blender animations, select your view model and if you see no warnings, because this is very important, if you see warnings, it says like decal something, then delete the decals that are on your your rig. If there is any warnings, you must make sure that those warnings are gone, completely gone, or else it will import really shitty and you don't want that. So as you can see, view model seems to work perfectly in terms of here, so you want to just press export rig. So, we're in Blender now, and you want to go to File, uh, actually, you want to go to Edit, Preferences, and it's going to open the little window here, and you want to go to Install. Now, you want to open the file that is going to be named whatever.py that you installed at the start of this video, and then, here, you're going to go over to the search bar once you actually installed it, and put RB, and then here, you're going to have it, you're going to just select it, you know? And that's that. You have it installed. So now you can press File, Import, and Rig Import. And once you've done that, you just want to find your file. Select the OBJ part. So here's my file, mp7.obj. Double click it. And here we have it. Look at that, what a beaut. So, you want to go here, go to RBX Animations, and press Rebuild Rig. Just press OK. And here you have it. If, by the way, your files are all named something like View Model, View Model, View Model, View Model, and it doesn't rebuild, uh, you're going to have to do some troubleshooting. So you're going to have to like reinstall your plugin, reinstall the Blender plugin, all of that stuff. It's going to be annoying, but trust me, it's worth it if you want to make it something like this. So from here you can go to the animation tab, select, um, so you're probably going to be in object mode, so you want to select your rig, go to pose mode, and now it moves. Our mag moves, our grip moves, it works! So then here, there's one more thing you're going to want to do. You're going to want to press on this, and press on this. Now, if you've never used Blender, it's pretty simple. Because there's not much to do once you get the grip of it. Which, you know, I kind of have the grip of it. So you want to remove this little thing called camera bone. But as you can see, there's still the bone. That's good. You want to keep this. Uh... You can go back to layouts, go to camera, and click that. Once you have that, you want to go here, add object constraint, child of rig, 
and then go over to camera bone. Once that's done, you want to go to the little orange thing here, and then you just want to set everything to zero, zero, zero. And as you can see, it's perfect. Uh, then you can press zero on your numpad, uh, or insert if you don't have a numpad, and it's going to put you in the perspective, so you can use your scroll wheel to see. And as you can see, I am way too zoomed in. That's pretty simple. To fix, you select this little thing at the end and drag it, and from here, you'll be able to get the perfect FOV. Go back to the animations tab, and on this tab here, you can press insert, so that you actually have an idea of what your animation looks like while you're editing it. So I'm going to have a sped up, I'm going to speed up the footage and finish my concept animation. So, see you then. Um, so, here I have my, um, placeholder animation, so, as you can see, it looks pretty bad. You got the little shooting, you got the reload, and then you've got the cock. So, one final thing that I'm going to say real quick, uh, before I end this part of the tutorial, this episode of the tutorial, actually, is that if you want to make some kind of mag reload, usually I have like a strategy that I do. It may sound really annoying, but this is usually what you want to do if you want to have like pretty, you know, decently good um, output. And it's actually going to be, you just want to manually do the mag stuff. So it may sound like it's, you know, a bit of a stretch for you to... Come on, you got to be kidding, right? I'm not going to have to do this. Like, I'm not going to have to manually frame every... Keyframe every single thing. But no, I, I seriously do recommend it. It makes your animation look somewhat more realistic because the movements are going to look much better in, in a way or another. But remember, you should not be afraid to be lazy and make your animation um, quote-unquote bad. So if something's happening on screen, don't care about it. Just don't animate it. Don't bother animating something that is useless to animate. And that's usually what I think when I make a lot of my view model animations. I'm like, hey, this right here... It's off screen, so well, actually no, not yet. This it's off screen, so I don't need to animate it. And then he's putting his hand back up. So here I'm like, oh, maybe I should animate this. So you just want to do the same thing as last time, and just grab it. Boom. Boom. And once you're around the part where the mag is going to be in it, you simply want to go to the first frame. As you can see, since uh, I copy and pasted the frame where it wasn't in his hand, so it was still in the gun, you can barely tell that uh, it's actually anchored to the gun and not um, anything else. So there you go. That is um, the first part of our tutorial on how to... On my tutorial, I guess, on how to uh, make uh, an FPS animation. Uh, shout out to my editor who is going to be linked in, a, in the description. He has a YouTube channel, please subscribe to him. 
he's extremely helpful because I'm just a lazy fat ass who doesn't want to animate, uh, I mean, who doesn't want to edit, so thank you very much to him once again. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, subscribe, and see you on the next episode, Interpolation.